During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military needed a lightweight, air-transportable jeep, leading to the development of the M422. Only about 4,000 of these vehicles were produced between January 1960 and January 1963. Soldiers, rarely fond of official designations, quickly nicknamed this small but capable jeep the Mighty Might. After the war, some M422s were left behind in Vietnam, scattered across rice paddies and jungles. The remaining vehicles, deemed beyond repair by the military, were sold off in the U.S., approximately 1,250 of them. However, these new owners faced a significant challenge. The Department of Defense had purchased all technical documentation, including blueprints and manufacturing equipment, from American Motors and refused to provide any support to the M422's civilian owners. This policy led to the rapid disappearance of the few battle-scarred survivors. So what was this once top-secret off-roader like? Compared to the well-known M38 and M606 Jeeps based on the Willys, the Mighty Might was truly diminutive. It measured just 2,567 millimeters long, 1,549 millimeters wide, and 1,679 millimeters tall, with a wheelbase of 1,650 millimeters. Extensive use of aluminum alloys kept the weight down to a dry weight of 760 kilograms and a curb weight of 790 kilograms. For concealment in dense vegetation, the M422's height, could be reduced to 1,194 millimeters by lowering the windshield and removing the spare tire. Spare tires were often omitted, however, as disabled vehicles were considered expendable in combat. The Mighty Might could carry four soldiers, two in the front and two on longitudinal folding seats in the rear. It could also haul up to 450 kilograms of cargo in a space measuring 890 millimeters by 1,050 millimeters located behind the seats. Powered by a 55-horsepower engine, the M422 could climb 60% grades and reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour on roads. Depending on the configuration, it could ford water depths from 540 millimeters to 1,500 millimeters, the latter version was equipped with air intake and exhaust snorkels. Fuel consumption was around 15 liters per 100 kilometers, with a 52-liter fuel tank. The M422 was well-suited for off-roading, boasting 230 millimeters of ground clearance and approach and departure angles of 55 and 47 degrees, respectively. Add to that a special low-range transfer case, a center differential, and relatively large tires, and it's clear why it earned the nickname Mighty. With only 4,000 units being built, it wasn't cost-effective to create special frame rails. Instead, two large diameter tubes connected by cross members were used. To avoid damaging the exhaust system, the exhaust gases were routed inside these tubular frame rails. The doorless body was made of 1.7 millimeters thick aluminum sheet. The seats were simple and non-adjustable. A dashboard with the five gauges typical of American military vehicles and a steering wheel faced the driver. The M422's heart was an air-cooled overhead valve pushrod V4 gasoline engine. Its 1,766 cubic centimeter displacement produced 55 horsepower. The engine was quite flexible, reaching its peak torque of 124 newton meters at just 2,000 revolutions per minute. The four-speed synchronized transmission was integrated with a two-speed transfer case. An interesting feature was the front-wheel drive, engaged simultaneously with the low-range transfer case via a separate lever. The Mighty Might had independent suspension with transverse control arms and longitudinal quarter-elliptic leaf springs. To minimize unsprung weight, the designers made another unusual choice they moved the drum brakes to the axle housings. Along with the base M422, American Motors produced the A1 variant, featuring four full-sized seats. This version had an extended wheelbase of 1,803 millimeters and a length of 2,870 millimeters. The Mighty Might was undoubtedly a purpose-built military vehicle. 
At 60 kilometers per hour, conversation was nearly impossible. Shouting was required. The ride was also far from smooth, and off-road travel was so jarring that the grab handles and hand holds proved essential. The M422 used a 24-volt electrical system. While it lacked brackets for a shovel, saw, or winch, it did have the military-mandated tow hitch. Sadly, only a handful of Mighty Mites survive today, commanding high prices among collectors. The M422 is, after all, a rare and unique piece of automotive history.